And now to the stage, two of the funkiest counselors, Miss Watson and Miss Nelson. Welcome everyone to episode two of Dog Bites Bulldog Coffee House. As your hosts, you are guaranteed a smooth ride through today's topics. So, Miss Nelson, what are we talking about today? On today's menu, we have Pro Fair for new juniors and seniors looking for a place to call home after high school. For our AP scholars, we're diving into AP exam registration. As we stroll into November, we're going to highlight our exciting activities for Apply to College Week. And for you crazy dogs wagging your tails to and fro, we're beginning back into full force with our Sources of Strength initiative. To round it out, we'll go over some ASVAB testing and what you need to know. And finally, let's hear from that crazy cool dog from the morning announcements, Mr. C. How's it going, everyone? Our second installment of Ask Mr. C. And the first question, which I kind of feel silly about now, is someone asked, what does the C stand for? Uh, it's not Cundy. It's not Cook. I am Mr. Costello. So the C stands for Costello. Second question, uh, why are you yelling in the announcements? Okay. The announcements used to be done on our old intercom system, and I don't think I ever had a, a volume problem. This year we switched to a brand new system. I started off in the front office on a microphone. Now I'm on a phone in the workroom. No one's really said I'm too loud. Some people said I'm too soft. I'm trying not to be, I promise. Mr. Farmer's class, I will get the volume down a little bit if I need to, but uh, it might be that you're underneath one of our new fancy speakers, and it's very loud underneath speakers, but overall, I don't think my volume's an issue yet, but I will work on it because I haven't heard myself from a room yet, if that makes sense. Uh, Lauren from Mr. Hunt's third, second period econ class. What's the difference between monopolistic competition and perfect competition? This is from Lauren Harper, our shade throwing um, homecoming queen. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, uh, I teach social studies here and I have not taught economics in six years and many things have changed in the standards in six years. Uh, I actually had to go into Mr. Hunt's class to ask him that question so I didn't teach my second period the wrong answer. So Lauren, um, I will explain it again because I now know it, okay? Monopolistic competition is when you've got many buyers and sellers and it's all about quality or brand preference. Think of all the clothes you wear, the restaurants we go to, and perfect competition, which is also called pure competition, is when there's no difference in any of the products. Think of crude oil as a great example, or, or pencils. No one's buying specific brand pencils. No one cares where your crude oil comes from as long as you get it. So there you go, and thanks for keeping me on my toes. I appreciate that. Um, okay, we got two questions that are kind of tied together. Someone asked who was the very first principal at the school, and someone also asked, is there a teacher still here from when Winder Barrow first opened? There is no teacher here because the school opened in the 1960s. Our very first principal is Lewis T. Park, and if you look here on the link, we've actually covered this in years past, so go follow that. We have a whole experience about how we actually got to the answer to that question. When was the last time I experienced nostalgia? Um, it has to be with my son. My son Wade is 10 years old, he's playing video games, and sometimes he gets really excited. And I remember when I was like, when I was his age, playing uh, the old original Nintendo, and just get really kind of excited. So it's definitely my son with video games, it's my most nostalgic thing lately. Um, question here from Mr. Gaddy, which sports team has brought home the most uh, regional wins in history? Okay. I've not confirmed this one yet. This is very basic research. Very basic research, meaning I've gone to the gym and looked at the banners, okay? I think it's our track team. Our track team was a powerhouse for many, many years. We were in smaller divisions. So I'm willing to bet, I'm not gonna put money on it, but I'm willing to bet like some lint or something that uh, our track team has the most victories. According to the banners hanging up at the gym, they definitely have the most victories, but uh, I will get together with some coaches and try to get to the bottom. And the last question of the day is a history question. So let me delve into this a little bit more. Come with me. A history question. Okay, so we're in the storage room of our library here where we keep the 
special collection of books, okay? I love history questions. I'm not going to say what the question is right now. And the kid who asked me a history question about Winder, I thank you so very much. It's the kind of stuff I love delving into. I've had a contact with a lot of people in the community, okay? But this is where I would start. If you love history, you love reading flowery language that we don't use anymore, this is the book for you. This is uh, called Beadland to Barrow. Uh, Beadland was actually Barrow's first actual name, called Beadland because literally white settlers gave a handful of beads to some Native Americans and said, can we pretty please move to this side of the river? And they said, yes, so that's where we get Beadland. Goes on to Barrow. This is basically the history of Barrow from that time up until like the 70s, when literally you can go find human beings who are alive and live the rest of the history. So I started here, okay? I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, but this question has opened up so many things. I just wanted to let you know that that's the big question we're going to figure out this semester. We'll have it for you guys before Christmas. We're going to go on location, show you guys some interesting things. But if you are interested about the Barrow County history, Beadland Barrow. Lots of copies here in our library. I recommend starting there. See y'all later. This week is Red Ribbon Week. Student Council would like to remind you to be happy, be brave, and be drug free. We all should be working together to make sure that we are, are remaining a drug free school zone. PSAT is tomorrow. Before you get too excited, remember to get a good night's rest and have breakfast at home or at school. All sophomores and registered freshmen and juniors will be testing. The test will begin at 8.30 on Thursday, October 29th, so please show up on time. Two number two pencils, mechanical pencils and pens are not allowed, a four-function calculator, a water bottle, and snacks. We'll take care of the rest. Now get excited, do your best, to happy testing. Registration is now open for the November Virtual Pro Fair, and that will be held on November 2nd, 4th, and 5th. The Pro Fair will, take place, will not take place on the evening of November 3rd for the election. The fair will begin with a hosted panel on Monday, November 2nd, and these panels will cover topical information delivered by admission experts. The panels will be followed by nightly sessions where students can hear from different colleges and universities and have the ability to ask questions to representatives. Students can register using this link for panels and sessions in each 45 minute time block on any night. These events are free and open to students and parents. Hey Wonder Bureau, this is Angela Bruce. I uh, wanted to just remind you that if you're taking an AP course this year, this semester, or a full year course, that your AP registration exam deadline is coming up really soon. So make sure that you get registered by the November 6th deadline. As a reminder, tests this year are $96 per exam, but fee waivers are available for students if who qualify for free or reduced lunch, or if you're taking a STEM exam. So there are two steps for getting registered. You have to go into your My AP, claim your exam, and then you also have to register on total registration. So make sure you do it, and then maybe you will also be added to this AP Scholars Board. Okay, one more thing that I wanted to mention, and this is for seniors. Um, we will be hosting a FAFSA completion night on um, December 3rd from 5.30 to 7.30, and so that will be hosted in person at Winder Barrow. So please let your parents know that we'll be offering this. It'll be an opportunity where you can come in and we will offer some one-on-one -on -one help filling out the FAFSA. So um, mark your calendars now and uh, share this information with parents. Thanks so much. My job title is a pantry chef, and some of my duties are working with cold advertising and desserts. Got this position after completing the food and nutrition pathway with Ms. Glaze. You can be part of workplace learning too if you are junior or senior and you work at a paid or unpaid internship. Apprenticeship. Internship. Apprenticeship. Work. Stop by workplace office room 6206. Find out more information. Also, if you're looking for a part-time job, check out the job board near the vending machines near the cafeteria. Let's talk a little bit about Winder Barrow's Apply to College Week. 
We want everyone to be ready for the school-wide celebration during Georgia's Apply to College Month. During the week of November 9th through the 13th, we'll meet an advisement every single day and have specific activities for every grade level on what they should be learning through advisement and with Apply to College tasks. Our goal is to get seniors to apply, but also just to engage the whole student body. We want to foster an appreciation for higher learning throughout the entire week. Seniors, take note of some of the activities and know that for Apply to College Day and Financial Aid Day, you need to take extra steps through a Google form to sign up before the event date. The Senior Raffle is made possible by our Zaxby's Grant. You can win a bundle of a water bottle, blanket, and gift card from Walmart. Put your name in by completing tasks like the Bingo, Apply to College Day, and the Financial Aid Day. Underclassmen, take note of the things that you can look forward to that week. And ninth and 10th graders, you'll hear from seniors now on what they would tell themselves as underclassmen. 11th graders, you'll watch former Winder Barrow High School grads talk about their process for college. The door decorating contest is where we want everyone to get involved. Advisements who represent the Apply to College best with a game theme, thinking video games, board games, or game shows, could win up to $50 for their advisement, second place $25, and third place honorable mention. We want our distance learners to be as involved as you can be. Take a look at some of the special events laid out. Make sure that you're using the hashtags if you tag a picture of yourself, as well as use Google Classroom codes for the counseling department for direct instructions on how you can get involved. Here are the Google Classroom codes for the counseling office. This will be important when you look up the different tasks, as well as seniors, you can find the direct forms you need for Apply to College Day and Financial Aid Day. As a closing, make sure that you're encouraging, supporting others, reaching higher, and always putting forth that double G effort. Hello, this is your student body president, Anila Perms. This is your senior class president, Antoinette James. This is Susanna Saldana, student council representative. I would like to take a moment to remind you this is Principals Week, and we want to thank Mr. Maxwell, Mr. Martin, Mr. Noblin, Ms. Smith, and Ms. Raver. Yay! We thank you for your hard work and dedication to making our school the greatest and leading the Bulldogs with a double D with great pride. We know this has been a very unconventional year, but we want to thank all of you for your hard work and dedication to make this a safe and possible year for all of us. Thank, thank you. you! Thanks everyone for watching and enjoying our first Sources of Strength video. We heard some great feedback and can't wait to continue the Sources of Strength movement. The Sources of Strength wheel is a reminder that everyone can find something to support them in their lives, even when it's hard to do so. And don't forget, you're never alone at Winder Barrow. If you ever need someone to talk to, please reach out to a teacher, coach, or one of your counselors. We're here for you. Long from the Career Center. Now I just want to ask you a question. What will you do after high school graduation? Some of you will go to college, some of you will get a job, and some of you will join the military. If you go to college, what do you want to major in? Engineering, criminal justice, education, business? Hmm. If you get a job, what type of job are you qualified to do? Warehouse, food service, lawn care, construction. Hmm. If you join the military, what branch will be a good fit for you? Army, Navy, Air Force, or Marines? Taking the ASVAB will help you answer all of those questions. The ASVAB is a career exploration program that includes tests and activities that will help you identify your interests and provide you with more information about your verbal skills, your math skills, and your science and technical skills. The ASVAB is coming to Wanda Barrow High School on Tuesday, November 17th, doing first and second walk. Juniors and seniors wanting to take the ASVAB 
you must register in advance in the Career Center. Registration takes about 15 minutes and please get teacher approval before coming to the Career Center. Last day to register is Friday, November 13th. Hope to see you soon. Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. Peppers and of course we've got Coach Karis here with us and as our special guest we wanted to bring in someone because uh, here in the next couple of weeks uh, for our nation we'll have a very important election. So just kind of talking about one, the event that we held a couple of weeks ago for new voters to register here if you were 18 years old or 17 and a half, we got you involved in that uh, process in the cafeteria. Um, but I'll let Coach Karras kind of talk a little bit more about the importance of things. All right, so uh, as Mr. Pepper said, uh, you guys know on Tuesday, November 3rd, we have a huge election coming up. Uh, we'll be choosing the next president of the United States. All 435 voting members of the U.S. House of Representatives and 35 of our 100 senators. And uh, both senators for Georgia are actually up for election. And of course, our 10th district um, is going to be choosing a new congressman. So it's super important you guys get engaged politically as you get older. Uh, you do not want your voice to be missed. You want every voice to count and every voice to be heard. So uh, we encourage you, if you registered and you're 17 and a half or older, to get out there and vote if you're going to be 18 by November 3rd. But if you're not, um, spread the word. Get your parents, your older siblings, your uncles, your aunts, your nieces, your cousins, whoever else it is, to, to get out there and just make sure that their voice is heard so that we have uh, the fullest democracy we can possibly have. So um, on Tuesday, November 3rd, we have uh, the actual election. Uh, in the United States, but of course, um, uh, here at Winterboro High School, we're going to be holding a mock election as well that morning. So more information will come out um, either through your email or through the teacher, so stay tuned for that. Um, but that way, even if you're not old enough to actually vote, your voice can still be heard at the local school level. And now take a look at some of the photos uh, from our event we held a couple weeks ago. Thanks for watching. I'm closing up shop now. You dogs, follow us on social media and have a happy Halloween. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. It's so ridiculous. <laughs>